What many miss most in these days of social distancing and shelter-in-place orders is personal connection with other people. I can't overemphasize the importance of connection. Social connection improves physical and emotional well-being. Studies show the lack of social connection is a greater detriment to personal health than obesity, smoking, or high blood pressure. The first thing you see when you enter our building are our core values guiding every decision we make at Allsbury. The first of these three is connect. We connect with one another as we connect with God. Thanks to the coronavirus, we have the opportunity to take connection to a much deeper level. Connection is shallow if we simply meet together in one place. Honestly, meeting together does not mean we will actually connect with anyone. Connection, when properly understood, is our shared commitment to a common purpose. This season of seclusion is a tremendous opportunity to connect with others at a new, deeper level through prayer. Philippians describes how we benefit from prayer. Rejoice in the Lord always, Paul wrote. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, through prayer and petition, with thanksgiving. Present your request to God, and the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. First, prayer establishes an intimate vertical connection with God. But prayer also builds a rich, intimate, horizontal connection with other people. Commit right now to increase your involvement in prayer. Begin with reasons for rejoicing. Thank God for the blessings you are experiencing in spite of this coronavirus craziness. Next, grab something to write on, like a personal journal, and start praying for other people. Write down who you are praying for and specifically what you are asking God for. Leave room to record how God responds. Praying specifically, asking God for a specific response, will result in clear evidence that God is at work and answering your prayers. Let people know you are praying for them, if at all possible, and tell them what you are asking God for. When you get out of the house for fresh air and sunshine, prayer walk your neighborhood. Your neighborhoods likely have the very same needs that your family has. Ask the Lord specifically to meet those needs. Again, if possible, let your neighbors know you are praying for them. Tomorrow evening at 7 o'clock, we will utilize our Allsbury Facebook page to pray together through the concentric circles of our lives. We will pray for ourselves and those closest to us, and each five minutes we will move out to the broader rings of our lives. I'm praying for you, my Allsbury family, today. And if you have a specific need or concern, call, text, email, Facebook message, or drop by the church office and let me know what that need is. If you come by the office, we will maintain a safe social distance. I'm praying for you, and I thank you for your prayers for me.